what's up, welcome back. Forgive my lack of energy today. I'm still a little under the weather, but I'm so excited to bring you guys the fourth installment in the five part series of the five must have wardrobe builders. Today I'm tackling a modern edgy style. Before I get into today's video, I do wanna take a second to thank you guys so much for all of your awesome feedback and how much you guys have been enjoying this series. I know I have been enjoying this series. You guys have come back with like so many requests for like different styles and different things. So I think after this five was done, I'll take a little break and then I'll kind of revisit the series later in the year or maybe early next year and add in a little bit more uh, different kind of aesthetics that you guys have been asking for. But the feedback has been really grateful. I'm so, so honored and thrilled that you guys are finding value in this content um, and that you guys are starting to think about what your style could be um, and, and kind of where you want to be in. and even some people have kind of DM'd you on Instagram saying it's really got me thinking about where I want to be in my life and I haven't even thought about what the person five years from now like what what me five years from now looks like so I love that you guys are thinking about that I love that we're getting that conversation started um, so before I jump into today's video I do want to ask you guys to leave me down in the comments kind of what you guys are thinking for yourself for the next five years what does that look like to you what version of you who are we trying to build who are we trying to get to in the next five years leave me that down below I'd love to know kind of what you guys are thinking and what you're working on and more than that what your hopes and dreams and aspirations are um, it'll also help me figure out a little bit more about you guys and then I can tailor my content even better so today I'm going to tackle a more modern edgy aesthetic for our five pieces um, the difference between modern and edgy and traditional business is that it's more of a devil make hair feel to it so it doesn't have the classic pieces and the classic structure necessarily that a business wardrobe does um, or someone that is more of a business person but it still has a lot of the same tenants so I'm going to dive right in with my first piece which is my white shirt. I think the edgy modern girl, she understands fashion and she believes in the tenets of a classic wardrobe, but she's a little too cool for that. She's kind of like that chef that goes to culinary school and decides, you know what, I appreciate learning the rules, I'm gonna break them and I'm gonna like pickle apples and put them in a salad. So if you're that kind of person, if that's kind of your mindset that you like understand the rules, know the rules, follow the rules, but then always break them and put your own twist on it, I think this is really gonna work for you. So my first shirt, my first piece is my white shirt and I know the camera's a little blown out. You'll see it in the try and portion. This is a very simple blousey white shirt without a collar. It has a little bit of a plunge but certainly not inappropriate for work. Um, and it's a little bit of an oversized feel to it and I think that's what really makes it more of a modern white shirt versus a very classic button down. Um, I even did button down with a twist in the first video. Um, so if you haven't checked out the playlist, we'll go ahead and link it in the end card and then um, down below as well so you can watch all the videos. But this is really great because it's still very feminine, very soft and is reminiscent of a classic white shirt but it definitely has that more updated modern look to it and because it's a little more devil may care as I said earlier it really does add that little bit of edge that little bit of cool girl that little bit of like don't tell me what to do which I really like so let's build on this let's throw in our black pants so here's another Monday top five video with the Mars Day cigarette pants I'm including these again because they are so classic but they're so basic in the way that they can really fall into so many different aesthetics. I really like these for this more edgy modern look because they are a modern pant, even though they have a throwback style, it's almost more of a timeless style. So what makes these modern and what makes these work in this context is the length. The, sh the crop length is definitely more of a modern take on an office trouser or just a modern take on a trouser um, anyway. And the nice flat, basic seams on it. We're not getting um, any kind of pleating in the stomach area. We're not getting any weird puckering in the hips. We're just getting a really nice kind of flat, simple, classic silhouette. But again, that modern crop length, which is something that really became kind of all the rage roughly in the past like 10 years, especially when it comes to office wear. It's definitely something that's a little more new. Um, so I love these two paired together. I think they're so chic together um, and definitely feel very young professional. The trench coat I'm pulling in for today's video is a very modern minimalistic trench coat and I will admit that I spilled tea on this the last time I wore it and I haven't taken it in for dry cleaning so please do ignore that. Um, I drink a lot of tea and sometimes it gets on my jacket. We're just 
we're moving on. Um, so this one I grabbed from Universal Standard. I've had this for about a year. I really, really, really like this. Again, going back to what I said about how edgy modern is tenants of classic fashion, but with a little bit of don't tell me what to do, devil may care feeling to it. So this one is a, I pulled it in actually in an, in an olive green, like an army green kind of whoops, um, because I think the color is very of the moment. The color is very modern. Where in past videos, I pulled a very traditional like camel trench because that is something that like the traditional girl would kind of opt for, the preppy girl would opt for. This one being in this trend color gives it that modern feel to it. Um, and over the years, this kind of a green has actually turned out to be more of a neutral than anything. And we've seen it paired a lot when the resurgence of camo came back a couple of years ago. We see a lot of this green color to the point where it really just fits so seamlessly into the wardrobe. It's a really, really great color to bring in. So if your wardrobe is largely black, white, gray, plum, this is a great color. I love this trench coat because it doesn't have a lot of the embellishments that a typical trench coat has. It doesn't have a rain guard. It doesn't have a belt. It doesn't have like the, the way the um, breasts, the double breasted section is, is built out. It's just completely different. But again, it's very modern, minimalistic. And again, that devil may care is what I'm going for here with this is I really want pieces that are going to tell people like, I understand your fashion and this is my interpretation of it. So I love these three together too. I think this is a phenomenal office look. It's just a really great chic look um, for every day as well because you really can't go wrong with a classic pair of black pants and a white blouse and a trench coat. Um, so I really hope you guys like this one as well. I do know that they do it. I believe they also do it in a black. Um, and But this green just really, really stood out to me. I thought it was really fantastic. Oh, and the one little detail I do want to point out that I appreciate because I always like a little bit of waist cinching. Um, they do have this bit in the back here that does kind of make your you know adds a little more movement to the back of it but there's two buttons so you can actually cinch it in a little bit tighter and give you a little bit more waist definition if that's something you're into so um that is our trench coat let's move on to our jeans the denim i picked for this video is a pair of distressed skinny denim from fashion to figure i really like this pair because the skinny is obviously the more modern interpretation the modern take on a jean but the distressing on it is just enough to make it edgy and cool but not like overly distressed i like the light wash color too i feel like um i've just been pulling a lot of dark denim for this area so i just wanted to pull something a little lighter but this in a dark denim would be absolutely gorgeous as well even in a black denim would be great i really like this because the um distressing goes all the way down to the hem and then gives us kind of a frayed hem, which I also think adds a little bit to that edgy kind of modern feel to them. They're not too distressed that they look like moths ate your jeans, but there's enough distressing there that kind of gives it a little edge and a little attitude, if that makes sense. Um, and paired with the white shirt, you can kind of see it pulling together. And when we're looking at stuff like ripped jeans, for example, and especially in the context of building a wardrobe and finding your aesthetic, balance is really key. And that's something that I think I'm gonna go into kind of down the road in a different series. Um, but when we are trying to kind of elevate and try to really say something through our wardrobe, taking pieces like a pair of distressed jeans, if I had paired this with say a crop t-shirt, it would have pulled very youthful, it would have pulled very weekend, it would have pulled very, you know, just casual. But because I paired it with a white shirt, it creates this juxtaposition, this, this chicness and, and modern edge of the white shirt that is very just pretty and very adult paired with the rips in the jeans it definitely adds a balance that elevates the entire look so um when you're looking at ripped jeans understand or maybe even consider that just because they're ripped won't make you look young and won't make you look immature won't make you look like you don't know what you're doing if you pair it with the right things so i'm going to grab my trench again and we'll see how the outfit comes together when we put the classic beautiful modern edgy classic trip okay anyway you know let's grab the trench so pulling the three pieces together we have the jeans the shirt and the trench and again these two pieces are so clean and sleek and modern they balance out with the denim that is ripped um, but again the silhouette of the denim is what keeps it modern so i'm really really loving how all of this looks together um, i think it's very chic it's absolutely something that if you're if you're working in a more casual office for example if you you know work in maybe the creative field if you're in um, maybe property management 
management or something and you guys are pretty chill on Fridays, you can definitely get away with a ripped jean like that at the office. Um, if you, I mean, you know where you work, so you can kind of read the room and kind of read the environment and know if that's something that would work for you. But if you are going out to drinks after work or something, you can pack these jeans, pull your trousers off, pop those on, and you still get to utilize your shirt that you're wearing, your jacket that you're wearing, and you're still getting a really gorgeous, still very modern, edgy, and your aesthetic look from all of this. So with that being said, I have a banger of a last dress. Normally I like to tell you guys the black dress I include in this video is good for funerals. No, girl, this is just a banger of a black dress, and I think my edgy modern babes are going to just feel so pulled and so called to this dress. I am so excited to share it with you. Uh, I am a Marseille fangirl. I am fully ready to admit it. I have another haul, another Marseille haul coming on Friday, I think. Um, yes, I did just do one recently, and yes, I am doing one again because I love it that much. So this one is the Marseille Bodycon. It's the mini length. It actually goes to mid thigh, just above the knee on me, which is like fantastic. I'm wearing a size 16 to 18 in it. I will go in depth into a review later this week, so you know, make sure you hit subscribe and get the notifications so that you don't miss all of the details about this dress. But the reason I pulled this is because a bodycon that is not too short, not too long, that has thick enough straps, that has high enough coverage, really does pull modern, really does pull edgy. It's not overly sexual. It's not overly um, inappropriate. It just, it's just a really nice classic modern look. I keep saying the word classic because these pieces are classics, but you guys know what I mean. I'm sick. I need more mucinics. I'm trying to get through this, you guys. Um, so I really, really love the fit of this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then paired with the trench coat over it, oh my lanta, you guys. We are getting like Sandra Bullock, Miss Congeniality, after the makeover, walking out of the private jet onto the onto the jetway. Like, y'all remember that scene where she was like walking and all it was like Sandra Bullock was just like, just body and then body and then hips and then oh my god it was like the hottest thing in the world and this dress just reminds me of that and with the trench I feel like the the mismatched length um, with the dress being shorter and the trench being just a little bit longer it's just so sexy it's just so attractive um, and again modern and there's so much attitude in these two small pieces you guys that really really were getting a ton a ton of edge okay guys so that is it for me and my five pieces the um, shoes I am wearing in this video I know you're you're gonna ask about um, because if I saw these in a video I would ask the person where these shoes came from so I do apologize that these are very old um, and they are no longer in stock and they are filthy um, but these are Zara shoes from a couple of years ago they say unstoppable and ambitious for my edgy modern girls who are looking to make a statement um, look for a shoe that's a little different look for a shoe that's maybe got a little bit of attitude sass edge whatever um you know these really spoke to me because i thought if i had a day where i wasn't feeling the greatest and i feel like i wasn't like where i needed to be i put these on and remind myself every time i looked in at my feet that i was unstoppable and ambitious and so i like to wear these as much as i can but especially when i'm going for more of a modern look and a more of an edgy look it kind of you know there's so much power that comes from this aesthetic so i just wanted to point out the shoes they are long gone unfortunately um and i pray that zara or someone brings them back because i i just love these so 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 much so that is it from you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to my froggy voice while i did this top five wardrobe must haves for modern edgy babes um there will be one more video in this series it will be next monday so i hope you enjoy that i hope you enjoy this video and that you learned something um new and you saw something that you like i can't wait to read your comments down below when you guys tell me kind of what you're working on and where you see your life going and what you're working toward um i really love that my audience is such a group of just intelligent passionate women that are going somewhere or are trying to get somewhere i just feel so fortunate that when i get to read the comments it's these really clever really intelligent really witty comments um you guys are just an absolute joy i just love 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 you guys so much um so thank you again so much for hanging out with me um don't forget to hit subscribe and like and get the notification bell on the way out i'll see you guys on wednesday with a really fun video i'm actually really excited about wednesday's video i can't wait to shoot it i'm gonna wait till tomorrow my voice comes back um but until then i love you guys so much have a wonderful day i'll see you later.